Hey guys, how are you? This is Darda with Stampa with Chaos, and it is Sunday night at 11 o'clock p.m., and I am doing some late night stamping tonight. Um, this video probably will post on Wednesday, praying if the uh, internet gods and the um, technology gods decides to be in my favor this week. Last week was a whole different story, I'm telling you. Anyways, I played with... Um, some of our new products. I didn't use our new ink, but I did use some of our new DSP. I love it. And the new stamp set and die set. So what we're going to be making is called a triple fold flip flop crisscross something or other. I don't know what you call it. I call it a panel guard. Isn't that cute? So much fun. And this is with our new products. So we used our basic, our new uh, basic beige cardstock this is part of our country woods dsp the new one coming out this one right here i'm not sure if you can see it but it's got some little designs this is called the country lace uh, dsp and these are all done with the um country flower die set and also i use the country flower stamp set so stinking cute and so fun to make let's open this puppy up so you can see it so let's go ahead and put you down. I've already got most of it done, cut out, however, so that would go a little bit faster. And let's see if I can uh, make sense of all my, my notes that I made. That doesn't always work out for me. Okay, so I'm gonna put these down. I have little sticky notes on everything. So on the outside, so what you're going to do is you're going to cut this beige eight and a half to five and a half, and I scored it at two and one eighth and six and three eighths, which then gave me, I believe that this is ends up being uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. So then I'm going to take I took our uh, blah, 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 petal pink. Got them out of order. Sorry about that. We need two petal pinks or two different colors, and I cut these at two and by five and three eighths. You just want a little smidgen of the color to come through. I'm gonna go ahead and use my bone folder on this. So we're gonna go ahead and adhere that. It has been a super busy weekend, and this week is going to be crazy it is potholes open week for my husband the fisherman so he will be fishing um most of the weekend well actually thursday friday saturday i'll see, I'll see him because i'm going to go out and help and stuff with the tournament but this is a big tournament they have 150 boats um it's quite it's quite the thing so we got that going on. I've got a couple, I got a birthday. Uh, one of the littles is having a birthday. Plus I work sometimes. Um, we've got sports going on. I'll tell you, it's just crazy. And I'm loving it. I am absolutely loving it. I'm glad I'm feeling up to doing all of it again. Okay, so we got the two and the five, uh, two by five and three eighths petal pink attached. And then I went ahead and used our Country Wood DSP and I cut these two panels out to one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. So you basically just want little, uh, a little edge to show around. So we're gonna go ahead and adhere that. The only thing about doing late night card making is my eyes don't always want to agree with me. It doesn't like late night card making. I hope I get through this with the right amount of ink. Okay. There we go. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we have our petal peak panels. These are one and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And they are going to go this way, this way, and this way. So that's our next step, but we are going to adhere to that some more country wood DSP and these are one and a half by three and three quarters. So we're going to go ahead and attach those first.
And there's one. And of course, the dogs have been sound asleep until now, and then they decide to wake up and start barking. Stop it. I'll be right there. Nope, lay down. Sorry about that. I'm not going to let him out. Then what we're going to do is we are going to go, um, when you put your panels on, you're only going to put glue on this side. So this is going to be fold this way. So we're only going to put the glue on half of it so that you can go all the way across. So it's going to go. And what I am going to do is, let me see. I gotta get this to where I can see it. Okay, I'm gonna put the top and the bottom on, and then that way I can kind of center the. Oh shoot! See, I just did that. Um, I need my eraser. It takes that glue off. Remember, that way, um, I can center the middle one. Okay, and then this one is going to be the opposite, so we're going to put the glue on this side over here. And then I can center it in between the two and get it lined up. There we go. And that opens like that. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is I cut out of, um, using the dies, I cut out some little pots so that we could put, and I'm gonna put them on the back side. You could put them here, but with the card flipping, I didn't wanna lose everything. So I'm gonna put it on the side that's adhered down. And then we're just gonna layer some flowers and some greenery on each one of them. And then add a couple doodads. It's actually quite, quite easy. And what I did was I kind of, I kind of um, got it the way I wanted it. And then I started sticking it down. So I did use my scissors and I don't, there we go. Okay, let's see. Kind of get it on there and then this one I'm going to use one of the pots this I cut out using our uh, softly sophisticated or soft succulent I love that green I tried using the one of the new greens that we got and it just it wasn't doing it for me I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off over here we're gonna cover it up anyways and it's sticking out and it's bugging me so we're just gonna go ahead um, there's my pokey and this one I'm going to lift up so it goes over the top of it okay let's add some adhesive you could use your glue if you if you wanted to a lot of people use glue on this stuff I don't like dealing with glue a lot I end up getting it more all over me than anything Okay, and now we're going to add some flowers, and I cut out a whole bunch of different flowers uh, in basic white and our petal pink. And so then what I did is I just kind of layered, layered the flowers. You don't want too much petal pink, but you don't want not enough petal pink, so I don't know how you go about saying that. Uh, let's see, I need one more big one. This design I got off of a blog of um, Mary, I don't know how to, Dethridge, I don't know how to say her last name, but she's another Stampin' Up! De demonstrator that shared this card, and I absolutely love it. I am so thankful that we are able to share our, our ideas. Some companies that you're with, I have an itch of my eye. Some companies that you're with, you cannot do that. 
So I love that these guys do. Okay, and these are called Milky Dots. These are some of our older doodads, and I'm going to go ahead and use them on here. And we're going to add a little bit of color to this card. There we go. There's one. And now this one over here, I'm going to use the pot. Uh, the, the little teapot, which I cut out I cut over here. Showing the, I'm showing my card this. I cut it out in the cottage, uh, country cottage paper as well. Now we're going to stick it. I don't even know if you guys saw any of this one over here. I'm sorry. I had my card way off. Okay. So let's do this. Let's add a little bit of greenery. This time I'm going to put the greenery down. So I want a little up, but I don't want it too far down. Is that going to work? I think it is. I think I can use it all that way. try it this way and see what we think okay let me get some more petal pink ones out here and we're just gonna layer these puppies up and give me a white one so I also today challenged myself to do a few things and one of the things I did was I took all of my um, scrap paper that I have been piling in a box and I went through it and I color coordinated it all and I labeled everything. You guys, it has been so nice tonight. I might just do that. I need another one down there. Oh, I've been able to grab scrap paper instead of using a whole stinking sheet. Oh, it has been, it has been awesome. I've already used a whole bunch of scraps out of it. So totally worth the two and a half hours of sorting paper. Okay, so we're going to put a couple of these on and then we're going to tie a little, oh yeah. Okay, then we are gonna, on this one, I've got some um, linen thread. We are going to tie a bow. And I like to double, this stuff is really, really thin, and so I like to double it. It makes a thicker bow. I think it looks better. And it works better for me. And then if it doesn't, just Do it again, and then all you do is just bring these down to where they're about the right size. I think that one's still a little big. Pull it down a little bit more. Oh, and I flipped it over. Tweak it the way you want it. Man manipulate it. Uh, oops, I'm pulling the wrong side here. Uh-oh. There we go. There, that'll work. And then kind of trim off the bottom. Okay, and then we're just going to take a little dot, glue dot. Find it. And adhere it down. Put it on the back. And put that right in the middle. Isn't that cute? So stinking cute. Okay, and then we have one more pot down here. We used the cottage, country cottage paper, DSP. This will be coming out in May. You guys will be able to order. I got my catalog sent off. Um, so excited for you guys to get the catalog and get to looking at all the new fun stuff. If you have any questions, let me know. I am super excited. I already have my, my next list ready to go. We were able to pre-order, but not everything. And so there definitely is a couple more of the 
a couple. Ha <laughs> I'm so funny. There's definitely more that I, I want to get. This one would be a great birthday card. It could be a Mother's Day card. Uh... A friendship card it could be any I mean that's the cool thing is it's so di diversified you could use it for so many different things all the cards are right just because you make it for a birthday card doesn't mean you can't use it for a Mother's Day card okay oh I know what I forgot I forgot the green I'm like why does this one look so kind of stupid well okay let's go ahead and see if I can get some green ring added onto it I'll pick it back up here. Hopefully. Not cause too much hate and discontent. Okay. Okay. Mm, it may not like thing nabbiters. Okay, let me let me try something. Let's get this down a little bit more. Now let's put this little bit up here. There we go. That looks better. I thought it was missing something. I was like, what the heck? Couldn't figure it out. Okay. There we go. Let's pop on some little milky dots. And call it... Almost call it good. You know, let's put the colored ones and put the white ones on there because I'm almost out there we go that's looking better okay then the last thing we did was um, I stamped best friend uh, ever and I used oh dang it I didn't cut a strip for that you guys let me find a white strip real quick over here that I can use. Shoot shenanigans. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Hopefully. Okay. So we are going to stamp Best Friend Forever. And I did it in the... Uh, the the brown the early espresso I thought there was enough of the the pink and the green and and then I stamped off as well so I didn't want it super dark and then what I did was I cut it out I cut each one and then I I inked around it Kind of daubered around it. Okay. I daubered with the early espresso. Just to kind of make it stand out a little bit. Okay. Well, we're going to adhere that with, I don't really like that best. Got a little too much on there. We're going to adhere that. Yeah, that's not good. Let's type, I'm going to go ahead and do the best one more time. Um, right there. Boy, that bee does not want to, it does not want, that's weird. It's really, uh, see if that, there we go. That time it worked out. It was blotching on the bee part. Okay. 
Let's go around this one more time. Now we're gonna stick it down about out of best friend ever. I love that saying. Best friend ever. Okay, I'm going to have to move the friend up. There we go. There we go. Best friend ever. Super duper cute. Okay, so now we just have the inside to do. So we're going to take a 4 and 1 8 by 5 and 3 8 petal pink. And we are going to adhere that down. This card is super easy. The worst, the, the, oh, crud, and then I went and got ink on it. Um, oh, it's going to cover up anyways. But the time-consuming part was just cutting everything out with a die cut, so. Okay. All right, let's try this. Okay, and then we're going to take this as the inside. The white is four by five and one quarter. Now we are going to stamp a bucket. Now I'm going to use my smoky slate on here. And I'm just going to put it down here in the corner. And then the other thing we're going to stamp on here was this saying that says, so lucky to know you. And I'm going to stamp off. I didn't want it real dark. And I'm going to stick that up here kind of in the middle. Oh, and I got it on my stinking hands. Well... Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious. Uh, let's go. Is that the right side? Yeah. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Okay. So we're going to take the lucky stamp off. Stick it right up here. And, and then we're going to take the bucket, which is in the gray. I'm making a mess now. Now I'm getting now I'm getting my name in chaos here. And we're gonna stick that down here. Okay. Then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and adhere that down. Because the only other thing we gotta do is we are gonna do some flowers and but we cut those out. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this down. And then we're going to stamp our flowers. And we're going to stamp these in our soft succulent. I love this color. Love, love, love this color. And this is it. And like I said, this is using our country flower dyes and country flower uh, stamp set. Okay. And then we're going to take our petal pink and color the flowers. You guys, I think I've told you in the past that Petal Pink is retiring. I lied. It was Pell Papaya. So, I apologize for that. I use Petal Pink all the time. Okay, let's get these all colored in. Okay, one more flower over here. Oh, we got one more here. And then I'm going to color the insides of it with our uh, light daffodil. And then I'm going to color the leaves in the soft succulent, the light color. 
And then after I color, we are going to cut out using the die set. I need to slow down. I wish they had this pen and one shade lighter. I should assist the light. Whoops, I almost messed that one up. Okay, eyes are starting to wig out on me. Hopefully that looks okay. I'm going to run it through the embossing machine and cut it out real quick. Maybe. So we're gonna cut it out and on this one um oh shoot that wasn't supposed to be under there that was weird um i didn't pop it up on this one i'm gonna pop it up on here and see what you think see if it adds a little bit of dimension to it um and i may not like it i may say nope we need to put it back down but I just want to try it. See if it looks good or if it looks bad. Okay, and I think... Oh, I think it's going to look better. Oh, I love it. I think it looks better. So there's popped up and there's not popped up. So see, it just kind of looks flat, but here it has some little bit of dimension to it. So there you go, you guys. Isn't that just flipping adorable? Love, love, love this card. So there you go. This is Darla with Stampin' with Chaos, Sunday at 11 p.m. Hope you guys have a great week and we will be talking to you soon.